Good day everybody. Today I'm going to be looking at Microsoft Publisher. Microsoft Publisher is a publication software that comes with Microsoft Office and what it allows you to do is to create several types of publications. When I say publications, I'm referring to flyers, newsletters, brochures, a birthday card, poster, and the list goes on and on. Today I'm going to use it to create a commercial flyer for an online cake shop. When I open Microsoft Publisher, I would click on more templates. Then under the built-in heading, I would click on flyers. So I'm going to scroll down and search for flyers. You click on flyer you are then going to search you could use a template that is already there usually in publisher they have several types of template or you can create one from scratch if you want to be more creative I'm going to be creating one from scratch so I'm going to scroll down to the blank sizes and I'm going to choose a size flyer that I want to use I'm going to choose A3 Portrait and then click on Create. When it opens up, you're going to see a blank page. I want to put in a background for my cake shop. So I'm going to click on the Page Design tab and then under the Page Background group, I'm going to select the drop down arrow for Background. You could choose a solid background with a color, a solid color, or you could choose a gradient background color, but I don't want to choose any of those. I want to choose a picture. And to put a picture as your background, you have to go to more backgrounds. Then you'll have to click on the option that says picture or text fill. Then insert. When you click on insert, you can search for a picture either online or from your computer or a thumb drive or wherever you have a picture saved. I have no cake picture saved, so I'm going to search for one online. So I'm going to go to the Bing image search and type in cake. So I'm searching for a cake for my background. And I'm going to choose one that I think will show my creativity best I like this one here so I'm going to use this one and click on insert and then OK so there you go guys that's my background color uh, picture for my cake online cake shop what do you think I think it's lovely yes I think it is lovely all right, I'm going to now insert a text box to put the name of my online cake shop at the top, right above love or somewhere in between there. So to insert a text box to put my cake, uh, cake shop, the name of my cake shop, I'm going to click on insert and then click on draw text box. When I do that, I'm going to draw my text box at the top and I'm going to choose a font that is thick and big and bold enough to be shown in my flyer because sometimes when you choose fonts, it's hidden. When you, the, the wording is hidden in the background of the, the picture of your flyer, so you want to ensure that you choose a font that shows what is actually there. And the size as well, you need to choose the appropriate size. All right, so I'm going to choose a font called Chrome Black. I saw a thickish font some time ago that I'm going to be using. Chrome Black. This is it. 
and I'm going to change the size to 72 should be big enough and my online cake shop is going to be called care Dane tasty treats all right I'm going to put tasty treat at below curtain I'm going to make the box larger so that the words are sh uh, can be seen I'm going to space tasty and treats and put curtain in the middle yes I think this is big and bold enough yes so I fix it so that my background picture is shown clearly can be seen by everybody and you're not wondering what is actually there that's beautiful all right the next thing I want to do is to insert a text box at the bottom that will have something like a, a tagline something catchy you know like a catchy phrase plus the information as to how to get in contact with Credin's um, cake shop. So we would need to go back to insert and then draw text box. So we're going to click on that option and draw a text box down the bottom here. And we are going to put a color in the text box so that it will show the information that we're going to put in it because if you notice the the background might interfere with the words that are going to be there so i'm going to change the color of the text box um maybe yellow yellow will go well with it especially with the fact that the the colors there i mean the picture there has yellow in it so it will go well with it so I'm going to change the fill color to yellow and type what I'm going to type in there a nice catchy phrase you know with a tagline we could say we specialize in weddings parties anniversaries etc and I'm going to choose purple for that writing purple and yellow goes well oh and by the way purple is my favorite color all right, we could choose 48, size 48. All right, so I'm going to type, we specialize in weddings, parties, anniversaries, etc. Below that, we could type, uh, something catchy for I need to increase the size of this text box so that everything that I'm going to type is shown uh, maybe we need to decrease the size of the font as well I think I'm going to put it to 36 for now if we need to change it later on we can change it all right so we're going to type for all your pastry delights contact and we could put a telephone number um 876 um we could also put an email address so for this we could put curdin at gmail we could use gmail could you yes it could be a gmail address at gmail.com and then we could also put um a, a website we could say curdin dot com 
or creating tastytreats.com tastytreats.com we could also put an IG account and a Facebook account so we could put the name TT stands for Tasty Treats. Um, could put the same thing on Facebook as well. Per Dane TT. All right, what else could we put here? Um, I think that's it. We have the telephone number for contact, email, um, the IG, the website, the Facebook address. All right, so what we're going to do now is to change the font for we specialize in weddings etc to adorable i like that font as well so i'm going to use adorable for that part I'm going to also bold it. Maybe 38 will. Hmm. I think that size is good enough. For all your pastry delights, contact. I'm going to change this font to. Give, um, I saw a, a font earlier chocolate decorative chocolate box decorative or something like that i'm going to change it to that one and see what it looks like if we if we can work with it we will use that one there we go chocolate box decorative and maybe red or put change it to red the font color that is and red is in the picture so it will be good enough and now we're going to be centering it as well so we're going to go to home and center it um i think i'm gonna put the uh the social network pages by itself press uh, enter and put a little space between that and draw the text box that down a little bit more space there reduce the space here press enter all right I'm going to change the website address to Herdin TT instead. All right, I'm going to reduce, uh, remove the space from here so that we can see all the things that were there before. I'm going to reduce the size of it as well so that it is not looking too big. Put it to 28. And I'm going to put a space right between the tagline up there and the contact information and pull down the text box a little more too much that's too much all right so we have everything showing now all right so it should be good enough if I zoom it up to 100 you will notice that all the information is big and bold enough um yeah so guys i'm just going to scroll from bottom to top and let you see what the flyer would look like all right i'm going to go to file and then print and let you see a print preview of what your flyer would look like all right so there you go guys that's what your flyer would look like i notice a little piece of the bottom text box is cut off 
So I'm going to make some adjustment there so that when it is printed or whatever you're going to do with it, everything is shown. All right, so it needs to come down to the bottom of the design and we should be good to go. So there you go, guys. That's how you create a flyer from scratch in Publisher, Microsoft Publisher. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for sticking with me. Thank you for liking and sharing the other videos. And as usual, I'm going to encourage you to share and like, comment, watch the ads, subscribe if you have not subscribed as usual. Bye guys.